Hey everyone, it's Stacey Nato. I'm always excited to spend time with you and I'm especially excited to spend time with you during this three for you, which is all about embracing your real beauty and self-kindness during this interesting time in this pandemic. Now, you know by now that I believe in accepting all of you, your real beauty, your real self, all of the time. And I think that this also warrants a very special conversation, being that we're in a very interesting, different time of physical distancing. If you're anything like me, you might have a regular beauty routine, right? Something that you keep up with on a regular basis that makes you feel good about your appearance or how you feel about yourself. So for me, I have a variety of appointments, including, you know, hair coloring appointments, hair cutting appointments, nails, etc. They make me feel good. They make me feel like I'm taking care of myself. So if you're feeling a little bit guilty about missing that routine, don't. My first tip is accept however you're feeling without guilt. If you have a routine that you miss, all that means is you enjoy taking care of yourself. All that means is you enjoy feeling good about yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. And yes, there is other suffering happening in the world. I know you're able to recognize that and still feel a little bit of your own pain too. Perspective is healthy. I agree with perspective. I agree with reminding ourselves of perspective, but I also know how important it is to own how we're feeling and let those feelings be with us no matter what. Accept how you're feeling and don't feel guilty about it. This leads me to my second tip, which is get a little creative, make some connections. In this time of not being able to go to your appointments or keep up with the people who help you with your physical routine, there might be opportunity to get very creative in how you keep up with your routine. Are there ways you can do things yourself? Are there ways you can get creative? Are there ways you can connect with others who are really good at certain tips and can teach you? Where can you get creative? See, the thing about creativity is it's playful. There's no pressure. You don't have to be perfect at it. You just get to sort of try to test, to play. Me, for example, I've been looking on Pinterest and YouTube for fun little half updo hairdos or ways to do at home manicures because I've realized that some of the things are important to me and I wanna keep up with trying to do them myself. The really fun part is I've connected with other bloggers and influencers and friends who are really good at certain things who have taught me the skills they know. This is an amazing time of being able to jump into creativity and certainly be more intentional about how we are connecting with other people around us. Do you have a sister or a friend who does this amazing updo ponytail thing with her hair? Connect with her, ask how she's doing and ask if she'd share her tips with you. Third, I want you to think about honing and owning your power. You have so much power. You are so capable of being strong, of being ready to take anything on that comes your way. You've got this. So now we get to decide how we want to hone that power. We get to decide how we want to show up in our beauty routine. What do we want to own? What do we want to let go? Me, for example, I'm owning the grays. I'm owning them. We're all in it together. Many of us watching have grays. And instead of covering them up or feeling bad about them, I've decided to just own them and let them be there. Because that is the reality of who I am and what I look like right now. Now, when I have the opportunity to go cover them up, will I? I certainly will. I certainly will be one of the first in the chairs to get my hair colored. But for now, especially because of the circumstances, I'm letting it be okay. And maybe I'm learning that out of this pandemic, when we're done with physical distancing, it might be okay then too. I'm giving myself the power to decide how much weight I wanna put into my beauty routine. I'm giving myself the opportunity to reassess my priorities and what really matters the most to me now. What can you do with your time and your power? Maybe you had an appointment every two weeks to get your nails done, that was me. Now, instead of getting my nails done, I'm using that time that I would normally get my nails done to think about how much weight I am giving all of these things. To maybe create something new in my life, to do something different that fills me up also. 
I am sending you so much love. I hope this three for you helped in some way. Always love hearing from you, so please connect, and I will talk to you all very soon.